Hey guys and welcome to this tutorial. Today we will work on the advanced session steam tutorial from the last time and we'll add better UMG widgets. So before we start I want to say that I will answer all your questions on YouTube but for now I had not enough time to do this but it will now take a lot of time for this. So if I forgot someone of you just ask your question again please. So let's go ahead and open up your advanced session steam tutorial. Here I got mine and open up the main menu and we will now apply here to this widget the material design from Androids. So for this we cut here our boxes and we wrap our canvas with an overlay. Then we delete the canvas and we add to the overlay our vertical boxes. So for the sidebar we wrap it with a size box. The size box get a height a width of 400 and full size on the width. The create server gets also wrapped with a size box and gets full sized but gets padding on the left of 450 for now. Or let's say 500 so we have a bit of better spacing. So to apply material design to this we need layers and layers can be also done only done in GIMP or Photoshop or any other program that works with layers. So UMG cannot do this from base off. So for this we will need now Photoshop. So open it up. Once you loaded Photoshop click on new project and let's create here a base project. And all we have to do here now is add a sidebar with a width of 400 and a height of 1080 and position on 0, 0. And here is the magic done. So we have here now a sidebar, click double on it and we add a shadow to it. Don't make your multiply, take normal and base of 20. So now this should be okay. Yeah, this is better. So we have here now our box. And if you want to Google the rules for material design, you just need to add here material design to Google. And the first pop up here is the official design for a material. So you can go through this. I find it very useful to use here the color sheens because they are cool colors for material design. So yeah, we will work with this template here. So I will create this now. Mm. Let's add another box with a width of 1320 like this. It will get a left position of 500 and a top posi position of 100 and a size of 880. So our base content box is this. Um, we will actually copy here just the style. I'll just double click here and I can show you another rule. Another rule is don't use the same strange on different layers. So we will use here a bigger strange. This is 300. Um, and now we can create the inner content. So let's duplicate this one. Control T to scale this down. I will use this as our top content here. Um, let's say this is 75. So this will be the content for the creating name server and for the others we will use um, another content bar so let's first do this and apply another color so just bluish oh sorry my fault uh, like this and here on the right side we need to use uh, this color here and let's remove the style and let's actually add another top bar which has a size of let's see zoom in here 25 250 let's say 200 so scale this up here a bit Actually, 200 is too much, I think. Let's scale this down. Yeah, 200 is way too much. So we want this to be 100, I think, or 125 is a good value. 
and I want this thing to be let's see let's see um, actually I got here some colors I will pick this one and this one let me show you the chords is 181c 7d so we will use this and for this one we will copy the style because this one gets in style like this but make sure you make the top bar above this so here is no shadow on the top mm -hmm. we apply this actually just want this inner shadow so double click here on this one and let's go to the shadow and let's make this five and the light comes from top so there is a small shadow here on the bottom so let's see how this looks it's okay I think and we can work with this so let's see here if everything is correct yep there the right side also everything correct so we have exported our sidebar we can now cut this up so we can export our content so scale it down here to this and then add 15 to it like this and we start exporting now so make get rid of the background and of this top two bars and let's save this as our content what did I do here did we actually okay um, <laughs> my fault this is my old folder my testing folder so just delete everything and I put in this content next up we export here our top bar so save as PNG content on top bar one and let's actually export top bar two so like this okay now press ctrl alt z to get back to the full size and get rid of this content here on this one and let's export the sidebar so again go back here to 400 and add 15 to it so we are 415 scale in there it is and save this as png and the name is sidebar like this okay so now we have our pictures now we can work on our umg itself so here you can always change everything of course um let's get back to umg and actually we have here our size box this is correct so um let's create a new folder called image open this up and whoops import here our images like this go back to the main menu and now grab an image and put it onto no um, before we can do this we need to wrap the side box again with an overlay and to this overlay we can add an image and put it above the size box and then we can click here on content oh sorry my folder full failure sidebar like this compile and save and yeah I forgot to actually make the text black again so click here on all these texts and make them black and yeah actually to see now a result we can click here on the overlay and apply a border to it so let's get this border above all other stuff make this one full size and yeah let's say the color can be white it's okay 
So now we have here our cool material design left sidebar. So for the content, we go here to this size box. And actually, we overlay, uh, wrap this with an overlay, scale this up here, and the overlay gets an image again above the size box, and this image will be our content. So go to content like this. And that's it, it's working already. So here's 100. But here we have a little bit too much, so to get rid of this, we go to the overlay, make left padding 450. So now it's the correct size. Uh, the image is okay. For the size box, we add padding on each side of 100, except the left side will be 50. And we have now the same scale here. So um, for the create server, Let's say for the size box here, we want to wrap this with an overlay. And this overlay gets images. So the first image will be our top bar. One, this one here. Oh, my fault. Um, the overlay at all don't need, don't need padding. But the size box needs this padding of 100 and except left 50, like this. And we copy this image and paste it in here and put it here between. And this one will be our top bar 2. Very simple again. Mm. All we have to do now for the size box is get to the creating new server and wrap this within our size box and the size box will have a height of 75 like this um, and this one will be in the middle like this so uh, yeah this is almost perfectly here so open this up and these three should be wrapped within a vertical box like this. So this is our vertical box. And um, this should have a padding here. Top. No, no padding. But it should be wrapped with a size box. Size box gets a width. No, fill. No, my fault. Control Z to get rid of this size box. And this vertical box needs to be wrapped with a size box like this. Now we can click on height override. Let's see, was it 100? I think no, 125 was the value. And this inner size will be in the middle. So now we can see here the shadow is not correctly working. So um, we need to go to Photoshop back and delete here the style. So, um, and what, what we can actually also do is um, make here this one white, and this one white, and we will change this then in the Unreal Engine. So again, cut this up to 417. Let's get in like this and um, get rid of all these boxes here so we want to save the top for one first so click on PNG top bar one yeah we want to override okay and top bar two also so very simple yes okay so for here just re-import this two also very simple and then go to Google and we want actually now the indigo color so copy this one go to your main men menu and on top of two I want to add here the indigo color and on the top I want to add the dark indigo 
So here on srgp, I want to paste it. And now we have here this small white line. I think we can get rid of this if we press in here full screen. And here also full screen. And actually, um, I did something wrong here. Um, of my second box, I uh, made the uh, height to 120. Make sure you have here 125. And then um, on placement, you can pick 174, I think. And then if you save as PNG, top bot 2, yes. Okay. Um, and re import this, it should get rid of this line, and it did. So, um, yeah. That is how you do all the material design. And yeah, I'm glad it worked. It looks very good. So we can actually now also um, work here on the click function. So let's see. So the overlay here will be overlay create server is variable. And um, on the on clicked. We want this overlay to be shown and the create server should be normal. So get here somewhere should be the create server. Yeah, this one here is um, visible and the overlay is collapsed. So now if we click on play and on this, we have this cool looking overlay. And yeah, I think that's enough for this tutorial. It's again 20 minutes. And in the next video, I think we could add some cool text. So the uh, material design default text. And maybe I will also add some fixes for the use land function. And yeah, see you soon. Thanks for watching and bye.